Hi everyone, it's Amy from Kahunako here. Feels a little bit like deja vu like last week. Last week we were at the tavern next door. Today we are at Terry White Kemart in Kahuna for the 21st episode of Lunchtimes with Locals. So, hello Alan, how are you going? We're gonna go inside and we're gonna meet the team at Terry White. I'm just gonna do a little bit of a run through. Um, I'm sure all the locals know that they've had a massive renovation done in the last 12 months and a rebrand to become Terry White and yeah it looks like such a professional um, shop. It always did but it's just refreshed, revitalised, a lot of new beauty room stuff that they um, can't actually use at the moment uh, and I just wanted to meet up with them and find out what they're doing um, in response to COVID. That noise you can hear, look. <laughs> Hello Michael McLone, how are you? He warned me there'd be a bit of noise. He's doing a little bit of work here at the very secretive looking new business that's starting up in Kahuna soon. How exciting, I can't wait to find out more about that. But anyway, let's go inside and meet the team at Terry White. Now they've got a, um, the opening hours here and a few different restrictions and hand sanitizer and everything in response to COVID. Now, I wasn't big enough to open the door. There we go. Look at what we've got here. It's beautiful, isn't it? Um, hi, Alan. Hi, Cara. Hi, Mum. How are you going? So, we've got the beauty section here. Um, and I was talking to Wendy before about some of the events that they often have here. They've had events before where uh, someone from Napoleon uh, will come and do like a beauty night for people um, interested in makeup and having a bit of a makeover and a bit of a pamper. So that's beautiful. So they've got quite a range there for um, people ranging from high end sort of makeup to the mid range. So the girls here are all, girls and guys are all here trained um, to help you out if you ever need any of your beauty and makeup needs. Now, we can't really talk about the new beauty area, but normally, prior to COVID, in this section over here, they would have like the nail nail table, I suppose is what it's called, where you can get your um, uh, shellac and everything done. And in the door behind there, there's a beautiful massage room. And in the other door behind here, there is a tanning salon. So obviously not open yet, but, um, Hopefully, hopefully by the time spring and summer come around, we'll be able to get back in, get our tans done, get our fingers and toes done, makeover, um, a massage, facial, all that sort of stuff. And the good thing is that you can actually book online. I have to, have to make sure about that actually, but you could, could book oh, online lovely. previously, which was really handy. Um, and then it would just come up on their system in here and you could let them know if you were gonna turn up or if there's any changes. So that was um, really wonderful service for them to have. Shan wanted to model the makeup section. Of course you could have, darling. <laughs> Everyone wanted to see Shannon again. <laughs> Sorry, you stuck with me. Um, maybe you could just do it on your own next week, Shan. That'd be quite good. <laughs> anyway, so we've got... Um, okay, what else can I show you there? Ah, the fragrance section. I just love how that looks. It always looks so shiny and beautiful. And um, Wendy was telling me that all the fragrances are price matched. Terry White as a brand, price match. So um, make sure if you're looking for gifts for anyone, you come in. And I um, mean, Mother's Day's just gone, but there's always special ladies and men in your life that might be looking for a new fragrance. Um, they used to have a, a little bit more of a gift range here. It's not something that Terry White um, wanted to start with. So it, it sort of diminished a little bit when they did change. But Adam was just telling me that they're definitely looking at um, getting a little bit more of a gift range back because of the demand. And I'll be honest, I did often come and get baby presents and. Uh, different things here when um, when needed and they used to do a great wrap, gift wrapping service and everything too so uh, that's that's something that they're looking at bringing back so if your business is in town um, ever have something or don't have something that you really want make sure you let them know they all have to feedback and if you know they've got rid of their giftware and you you're missing it tell them and they I'm sure they'll respond all businesses like to respond to what their customers are actually asking for so something else the pharmacy has, well, it's called like a chem mart now. So just think of it as a chemist, pharmacy, and, you know, you've got all sorts of things like that. I think we all found out about that in the um, COVID-19 
toilet paper crisis. We always thought, um, oh, there's none left at the supermarket. We'll go check the chemist for some toilet paper and some hand sanitizer. They've got, you know, deodorants and all the basic sort of things, um, as well as toilet paper, shampoo, uh, ladies' stuff. And um, something else that's really popular apparently is the brand of Tony Ferguson health shakes and food and snacks and um, weight loss sort of supplements and things like that. So that's something that is uh, really, really good to have in town as well. So the staff here, there's something, um, hands up or give us a love or comment or a like if you have had excellent customer service here because I would say that there's, there's a lot of staff here and they're always just as soon as you come in, hi, how are you going, what are you looking for? Uh, most of the time I'm looking for something that's staring me right in the face, but they'll come up and they will be, um, you know, oh, here it is, you know, or do you want this brand or talk me through what I'm looking for. So a few people just give a bit of love and a bit of response to that. So thank you. Um, hi, Jan. Hi, Emma. Hi, Liam. Yeah, it's excellent customer service here and um, you can always find what, what you're after. My sister Wendy's amazing. Wendy didn't want to be in it. <laughs> Debbie's watching. Hi Debbie. And she said that you're amazing. All right, she is. She didn't want to be in the video. I thought she might, because she's, she's a very um, outgoing sort of person. There's also, don't forget the health stuff that they've got here, is the supplements and all that sort of stuff here. Um, so many different choices. Obviously, you come in, if you're feeling a bit tired, they'll be able to advise you on the right, the right type of supplements you might need. If you get cold sores, hello, like me, all the time, then they'll tell you to buy some lysine, which is like this big, biggest tablets ever. But anyway, um, no, Wendy is not shy, Debbie, but she reckons she is. <laughs> As we're moving down to the towards the back of the store here, we've got... Um, the new service area and the pharmacists look very comfortable working behind there all the time they've got much more room now and they've got that cool looking spinny bobby thing i'm sure that's the technical name but it obviously makes life a lot easier for them when they're working trying to dispense the medicine when i was sort of looking into doing coming here today i realized i absolutely know nothing about how a pharmacy works except that you go to the doctor get your script and then you bring it in and what happens there from there on um, I have absolutely no idea um, so it was yeah really interesting to actually think that the pharmacy has so many different um, sort of prongs to it and different businesses all within it so I'm gonna have a chat to Adam in a second I think he's actually still working at the moment but there's something else that the pharmacy offers that not a lot of people know hey go on uh, uh, Jan said, I've been to the chemist more than ever lately, picking up tablets, excellent service, especially during the current times, absolutely. And they did come up with lots of different ways to protect people and encourage people and educate people about, you know, looking after your health. So they, um, hi, <laughs> so they, you know, lim limited the amount of people that were allowed in the shop. They've closed the back door, which is sort of... It's usually pretty handy to have this back door out here where you can walk through to the car park and to some of the other shops. Um, and they've adjusted their services um, to limit the amount of people that can come in. They've put guards up on the, like, place plastic perspex glass things up on the, um, where you get your medicines dispensed, hand sanitizer in store. And like Debbie just mentioned, excellent home delivery service because they know that they couldn't shut. They, couldn't discourage people from coming in so if they offered the home delivery service that that would keep our community even safer and people didn't have to come out to get their medicines they could just ring it through talk to someone and then yeah go from there so I'm in the sort of back back blocks here I'm going to talk to Adam in a minute I think he was just um, with someone but this section is sort of um a lot of people probably don't know about that but you know like the mobility aids and things for for older people um so that's actually yeah really good to know that they've got that as well so um we're so lucky to have this service in town and they're, they're really helpful and they're just you know bend over backwards to do anything for you there's also something else that we've got here which is sorry i know i'm flicking backwards and forwards a little bit i'm just sort of hanging around waiting for adam me talking too much so they've put in a couple of clinics which are just little rooms this is one of them and it's not occupied at the moment it says it does but um they 
do medical management, you can make an appointment to speak with one of the pharmacists or staff here who've trained in these areas and these are the type of things that they can help you with. So, um, yeah, if you're after any of those. Uh, there was something else, or well, Alan's saying there's a Terry White pharmacy app to assist in managing medications. Fantastic. Right to go. I have to chuck the link in here. Actually, the Terry White chemist here have... Um, a very active Facebook page, which I think I've put a link to. So make sure you get along and, and like their their Facebook page. And they've also got Instagram as well. So yeah, make sure you give them a like and then you can keep up to date with their opening hours and you know anything else that they're up to at the moment. Um, yeah, it's the best way to, to keep in, in the loop and not have to come around. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Everyone gets a fright when they see me. Hi, Kobe. <laughs> Yeah, so hopefully Adam will be able to give, uh, come and uh, give us a chat in a minute. Hi, Caitlin. Um, uh, something Adam was telling me about also is that, um, saying I'm a lot, sorry. Uh, <laughs> flu injections. You can come into the chemist and get your flu injections at any time, Monday to Saturday, and the staff are usually working here can give you your flu injection. So from age 10 upwards, you don't have to make an appointment. Obviously, probably be best to to give a call if you're um, you know unsure at all. Um, how you going, Adam? You ready for a quick chat? I feel like I've been talking for way too long. Yeah, and sometimes it's hard to get us both in the shot. So this with is my big head. <laughs> Right. So this is Adam, Adam Dow, and he's uh, one of the pharmacists here and one of the business owners, partners, yep. partners. That's right. I forgot to ask about your business structure. So <laughs> I don't want to put my foot in it at all. And your wife, your beautiful wife Mel, also is a partner and pharmacist, one of the pharmacists yep. here as well. So there's always how many pharmacists sort of at the moment now we sort of have three most weekdays. Wow. We've just employed a new pharmacist, Arif, who started to work right. with us, which is really good. He's yep. Uh, not a locum like we've had recently. He's yes. actually a full time with us now, so which is good. Yes, permanently right. here. Excellent. So, so we'll be able good. to get to know him and see his, his yep. face and, around. And we've got so. Kobe as well too. Kobe, Every, yep. another local. So pretty yeah. much everyone knows Kobe. Yeah, exactly. So it is. It's so nice to. Well, I was just. Well, I've talked a lot, but I've <laughs> said that there's always so many staff here, and you just get the best customer service. You just walk we in, someone it. helps you. <laughs> you never have to wait, and yeah, even when you're calling in on the phone or anything like that. Um, it's, it's been really great. So I've sort of covered a, a lot of the stuff. So I sort of wanted to ask about, you know, what's mainly affected you guys with the COVID-19? Yep. Um, well, obviously we've implemented all of the things to try to maintain social distancing so mm -hmm. that we've got markers and that on the floor. Yeah. We're also right. really encouraging people um, to just phone us and order their scripts and we're delivering... Um, yeah daily to people in town and twice a week to both Leechville and Gunbower. Oh, I well. didn't know that. Okay, yeah, Leechville no, so, and Gunbower. Did you hear so, that? Excellent. Yeah, so that's um, what we do when, when required. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's also helping to minimise that. We're in, a lot of people, as you would wait in store for their prescriptions, yes. we're sort of um, encouraging that not to happen at yeah, the moment. Definitely. So for people to stay out, if they do want to just hang around downtown, just to pop outside, we have seats out the front. Yeah, exactly. Or they yep. can have a stroll down around, see what else is in town That's while they're idea. here. Yeah, yeah, exactly. What about people with new scripts? So if you go to the doctor, you get a new script for antibiotics or something. Can you phone that through, or do you a lot of them? Them, the doctors in? are now faxing the scripts directly Great. to okay. us. Yeah, yeah. Um, but see, then uh, we sort of because we we're getting hundred of scripts a day, yes, yeah. uh, we only will make them up once they're requested. So we have a big pile of okay. sc fact scripts that we've received. Yes. Um, so then if you want it made up, yep. uh, give, you a call. give us a call yep. or pop in and say, have, how, has the facts come through yet? Yes, I agree. Uh, because sometimes good. they oh. say... That's facts, but we haven't yeah. quite received it yet. Yeah, so we can enough. chase it up if it hint. hasn't made it to us yet. Yeah, that's a good hint. And you'll hold on to people's scripts here too. Yes, yeah, so um, they can just yeah. ring up. We have drawers full of, of scripts. So yeah. especially some people like to keep theirs so they can keep a track of it at yeah. home. But during this time, we're yeah. sort of encouraging people just to leave them leave here. It yeah. makes it a lot easier for us to yeah. deliver them yeah. to them. Yeah. And as we're talking, I'm thinking of all the other services that you do, like the... Um, the little tablet packs. What are they called? Oh, yeah, Webster, Webster packs. packs. I knew they had a... <laughs> so you've yeah. got that service as well. Yes, yeah, certainly. That's a, it's becoming more and more popular yeah. and it makes managing your medications really easy. Yeah. Uh, people think it 
they lose control by doing that, but it's actually yeah. the opposite. It allows people to make sure they're getting the right medication Definitely. all the time. And actually, it's been shown to keep people in their own home longer if they're yes. we're managing their medications for yeah. them rather than them having an accident or something at mm -hmm. home, a medication mishap, yes. um, which we we avoid by just packing them for them. Yeah, excellent. Yeah. So you package them up and, and then deliver them out. Yes, yep. And they've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you know, morning, lunch and Yes, tea. whenever your dose times are required, yeah. they're along yeah. there. Yep, so just you can a week sort of keep track of you know, um, where you're at with it. So that's another great service that you offer. That's excellent. No one's really come through with any questions. Please let me know. It's getting quite busy in here, so I might let Adam go. But I did want to sort of ask the brand, the rebrand. Yes. I think that's probably what people are going to be asking about. Yep. It's been nearly 12 months now. Has it? Oh, uh, yes. We sort of, we had, did the refit in November, but yeah. before we changed, we are sort of transitioning over yeah. before then. It's been good, good and bad. Every brand has their ups and downs. Yeah. Terry White is probably a little bit more, I'd noticed, clinical focused yeah. rather than what MCAL was. Yeah. Um, and so when they f we first implemented everything, they sort of removed a lot of it, the stuff we had at the front of the yeah. shop, which sort of their giftware, and because the stores, I believe, were sort of aimed at a, a metro area, yes. which they had a lot of other shops that would exactly. provide those things. Yeah, exactly. But in the town here, there isn't such a broad yeah. um, range of retailers. Really, so right. we're slowly yeah. bringing back yes. that sort of original yes. uh, giftware that and that stuff. sort of yeah, stuff. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, um, that's that's right. the, the main thing that we've noticed. Yeah. Also, uh, a little bit of, the, uh, to yeah. be honest, the workflow isn't amazing. And, yeah. and so it has made it a little bit tougher for us to service people quickly than yeah. what it was before. But yeah. we are looking at that Out and that. that we might be yeah. doing a little bit of another rejig in the, yeah. in the near future just to get back to being the most efficient to serve yeah. people. Yeah, good job. Well, thank you so much for letting us in and for yeah. talking with me today. It's no a very busy little business, well, not yeah. a little, <laughs> big business in town. And I know lots of people are, you know, just so grateful for your service and for yeah, keeping the business going and yeah, no. being young um, people in the town with a young family and sticking around. So, yep. yeah, it's great. Thank you very much. I'm actually going to give them a surprise now. I think you know what the surprise is, but no. I'll be putting upstairs. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> Enjoy. Right. Yes, thank you. I'll come <laughs> back ya. later on. Thanks. So you might have heard that there. That was Adam. He's um, a lovely bloke. And his wife, Mel, she's amazing as well. So... I hope she's watching. I don't think she is. Hi, Jan. Hi, Jan. All right, so now something that was a bit of a surprise, which I didn't think would be able to happen, I'm going to be able to take you through and show you uh, the accommodation, which is up the top of um, the chemist. So it's called Kahuna Creekside Apartments. I hope I get that right. Sorry, bear with me while I get the key out and unlock here. But, um, yeah, so the chemist is in like the prime position in town, overlooking the beautiful Gumbauer Creek. And um, I don't even know how long ago, but let's turn the camera around so you don't have to look at me anymore. Um, a while ago, they decided to make the upstairs into accommodation. So we've got the stairs here. Uh, and yeah, this can be rented out when people aren't really, not really advertising it at the moment, but it does get rented out by, say, like um, workers who come to town or professionals that come to town for a short period of time. So I'm just going to show you. It's a little bit dark. But it's absolutely beautiful and you don't actually even if you're a local you don't really get to look at these places and know you might have heard of it but you don't actually know what's up here and how nice it is so if you've ever got visitors coming to town um, you know if you're having a big birthday party or something like that look how gorgeous it is it's huge full kitchen dishwasher and everything so I've actually been up here for friends 40s and things like that where you just want to have, obviously not a massive party, but just, you know, 10 girlfriends or something um, up here. I think these are sofa beds as well. So not only is this a beautiful lounge room, it's also um, room for the kids if you want to come with a couple of families. And honestly, this is probably the best bit out here. It's probably locked. Look at this. How lucky. Oh, that sun is beautiful. Actually, oh, there's Macca! <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys! So look at that. Can you imagine coming out here, well first of all sitting out here in the evening, having a couple of wines and a bit of a celebration, and then coming out here and sitting in the sun having a cuppa in the morning when you're recovering. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, and available to hire out on Airbnb and booking.com 
or just give Wendy Hooper a call or the chemist, find out how you can book in. And this could be you sitting up here on this amazing balcony here, um, enjoying the sun and the view of the Kahuna Water Tower and the beautiful Gumbau Creek over there. So I'll just go and do a quick look back through there. So I'm pretty sure there's three bedrooms. Three bedrooms and this one, the lounge room. And then full kitchen. Hi Jan. Jan's probably been up here before. Um, bathroom. Two bedrooms there. Yeah. And another bedroom out here. That'd be my bedroom, I think, this one with the view. So they've all got split systems in them. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, Jan just said, can you play, please show us in the bedrooms? Yep, there you go, Jan. Look how nice this is. Guess who's got a 40th coming up? This might be a nice place to have 40th, I reckon. Yes, so there you go. Bedrooms, two single beds in this one. Oh, it's massive. And then another large queen bed, I think, in that one. And that also has an ensuite. So... Gosh, I've lost track of how many bathrooms and the things there are. But yeah, I think that's quite surprising for people, especially locals who haven't probably never had a reason to come here. But it's definitely, absolutely, it's spick and span, absolutely spotless. And yeah, it's I've been here for many happy memories and it's just really, really a nice place to come. I actually don't even want to go home. Yeah, I just want to go sit on that balcony again. Anyway, thanks for watching along, guys, and thanks for watching along for to this far along. You got a bonus because you're stuck with me for so long, so I highly appreciate it. Um, and yeah, yeah, awesome. Oh, Jen, you should join me. The sun out here is amazing. Awesome. All right, guys. Well, I'll let you go. Thanks for joining Lunchtimes with Locals again. I really appreciate everyone's support, and yeah, make sure you. Make sure you give us some likes, give us some comments, tell me where you're watching from and yeah, just in general, get around all the small local businesses in town. Hopefully life can start going, getting back to a bit of more normal soon. Thanks guys. Bye.